What's up everybody? Master Reactor here. And today I have a replay. Um I have not really been um uploading any videos on Yu-Gi-Oh recently because the laptop that I've been using the sound is kind of like fucked up on it. So um I've actually resorted into using or whatever the word is, resorted, I don't fucking know, I can't speak, but anyways, you know I can't speak anyways, all y'all know that, but, um, so yeah, I've started using the old laptop where I used to record with my phone holding it, but I'm not gonna do that because I have OBS, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna let y'all know that the videos are coming back, so we have a replay versus, first of all, let's see the rankings real quick, let's see what place your boy's in, right now I am sitting in... Fifth place. Okay, pretty damn good. And this is the replay. It's Aiden Boss. After I beat him, he had one word. It was lucky. You call it luck. I call it skill. I call it whatever. Either way, I beat you and got you. So, as you can tell, I've won. Um, I lost these three in a row. That kind of sucked. But I won one, two, three, four in a row. So, we're going to play. We're going to do the replay against Eden Boss. Aiden Boss. I to fucking say it. Eden Boss. So, let's see what happened. Let's check it out, check it out. So, I throw paper, he throws rock. So, I win the RPS. Pretty good start here. I hope this shit don't fucking lag like crazy. Come on, alright, here we go. So, um, let's pause this for a minute. We're going to do a little bit better content here, alright? So, we'll go next play. And then, um, so, I open MST, Dust Shoot, Duo, Psalm Judgment, Jar of Greed, and Thunder Dragon. So this opening hand is pretty busted. Now there's a couple ways you could play this. A lot of people do like to like maybe like uh, sandbag the duo just to get out sinister out of the person's hand. But I'd rather just not do that. So what he opens is Graceful, Jar of Greed, Tsukiyomi, Kaiku, and Tribe Infecting Virus. So I decide to just shotgun this delinquent duo. And say, fuck it, turn one. I pick a Tsukiyomi. And he decides to throw out Tribe. I discard Thunder Dragon. You want to always duo before you Thunder Dragon. That is because of card destruction. Because if you do that, they're going to instantly throw out card destruction. If they happen to have it. So, I decide to set MST, set Jar, set Trap Dust Shoot, and set Solomon Pass. I fire the Dust Shoot here. And he's got Double Jar and Graceful. So, pretty nice. He decides to set both Jar of Greeds. I'm going to hit one of the Jar of Greeds to get it out of here. And I draw into Card Destruction, which is pretty nice. So, I fire this Jar of Greed. I draw into Saku. And I decide to just play Card Destruction. And this is why I think he misplayed. He should have definitely chained this Jar of Greed, but he didn't. So, instead he just drew Card Destruction. So, I get to draw three. So, I draw into Mask of Darkness, Wing Blast, and Chaos Sork. Which is pretty nice. So I decide just to set the Wing Blast and set the Solomon Pass. He draws into a Night Assailant. So he's going to use the Jar of Greed here. And then draw into a Jar of Greed with the Jar of Greed. Okay. And he sets the Jar of Greed and just passes. I say okay. I draw into a Knock, which is pretty nice. So now I decide to flip the Mask of Darkness. And I get the Jar of Greed. And I hit him for 900, I set the Jar of Greed, and I set the Knock and just pass. This is like playing around Duo a little bit. So he Jar of Greeds and, well he draws um, Spy, and then he Jar of Greeds into Thunder Dragon. So this is actually pretty damn nice for him. Not gonna lie. But, I decide, he decides the card destruction, I could saw him Judgment this, but I just feel like there's just no reason to. I mean this Sork is like, pretty dead in my hand right now. So I draw one, and I'm glad I didn't Jar of Greed there. Because I would have drew Pot of Greed and discarded it. So he gets his Night Assailant off. And he gets to get his Spy back. Which is fine. So now he's going to run Breaker out. And I decide to Solemn Judgment this. Because I feel like if he had Heavy. He would have Heavy first for sure. So he just passes. I draw into Tribe for turn. I draw a Greed into another Knock. Pretty decent. Then I Pot of Greed into Chaos Sword and Sinister. And I decide just to drop the Sork right now and hit him for the 3200 and I just pass. He draws into Faith for turn. Okay. 
He sets the faith and just passes. I draw on the mirror force, and that is the game. I'm gonna knock his monster, and he just scoops because he knows what time it is. So let's go on to game two. Game one, pretty clutch. I guess you could say I kind of sacked the shadow of him, but hey. All right, game two. Uh, let's go ahead and pause it. He opens Thunder Dragon, Snatch Steel, Knock, Spy, Card Destruction, and Deco. I've got a pretty terrible hand here. Sangin, Thunder Dragon, Jar, Thunder Dragon, and Sword. So at this point, I know I'm going to lose this game. Like, it's very hard to come back when you open two Thunder Dragons. Although I have one opening three Thunder Dragons before I actually beat somebody. So I've done that twice, actually. One time it was because of card destruction. The other time it was not because of card destruction. And I still ended up winning somehow. So he's going to discard that. And he's going to set the spy and just pass. Okay. I draw into Deco. I decide to discard the Thunder Dragon. I get the other Thunder Dragon. I set Sangin and set Draw Greed and just pass. He draws into Sinister. He's going to flip his spy here. And he's going to get the spy. Okay. He knocks my Sangin. That sucks. And he's going to hit me with 1200. I'm like, okay. And he sets Deco and passes. All right. I draw into a Mask of Darkness. I draw a Greed into a Knock, which is okay, I guess, kind of. But my hand is still pretty ass. So what we're going to do is we're going to just knock the Deco. He's running too, so am I. I'll set my deco and just pass. He draws into upstart. He upstarts into BLS, so talk about luck. I was pretty lucky there, not gonna lie. And then he just drops BLS on me. He banishes my shit. And he hits me for 2800, so this is bad. And he just passes. I draw into heavy storm. So nothing much I can really do here. I literally have to just summon this Mask of Darkness. Crash into the Spy. And I have to just drop the Sword and banish the BLS. So even after opening, what you call it, I am behind still and I'm about to lose next turn. But I still kind of kept up. I mean, kind of, not really. But hey, he drew that BLS. If he wouldn't have drew that BLS, it could have been a totally different game. Possibly, but I don't think it would have been. Probably wouldn't the same shit. So he's going to hit me, and that is game. So we're going to go to game three. Game three, I put a couple trap dust sheets in. I think something. I don't really know. But let's see what I get here. All right. So I open Mask of Darkness, Night Assailant, Heavy, Deco, Night Assailant, and Solemn Judgment. He's got Knock, Card Destruction, Mirror Force, Torrential, and Sangin. So... What I should have probably done was just set Solemn in Heavy with the Mask of Darkness. But let's see what I decided to do. I set the Solemn, and I do do that. So I set Heavy in Solemn in Mask of Darkness, and I just pass. Okay. So he draws in the Thunder Dragon, which is a pretty good draw, I guess. I mean, it opens up his card destruction play, but he has no idea that I got these Nidus Helens in hand, so... It's going to be salty. So he tries to knock my whatchamacallit, and I instantly just Solemn Judgment. I want to protect this Mask of Darkness. Like, why would I not? He's going to run Sangin out, and he just sets Torrential and just passes. So I draw into Ring of Destruction. Probably should have just fired this Heavy right here and said, screw it. But I decide to just flip Mask of Darkness, and I get the Solemn Judgment back. And decide to set the Solemn in the ring with the Deco, and I just pass. He draws into a knock, which is pretty nice for him. So now he's going to try to knock my monster, and I decide to Solemn it again. I'm like, screw it. Let's just go for it. I'm going to Solemn. So he decides to tribute the Sangin for Thunder Dragon here. And at this point, I think I'm pretty much going to lose. After he flips his Torrential, I'm like, okay, this is really bad. So he um, gets to search with Sangin here, which sucks, not going to lie. So I'm pretty sure he's going to get Sinister, yep. Then he decides to set the Mirror Force and then Card Destruction. Okay. So I'm like, alright, that's perfectly fine because I have two Night Assailants. I'm about to draw two and fucking get two more. Get both my Night Assailants back. Like, must be nice. He draws into Deco and Pot of Greed. 
He fires Pot of Greed. He draws into Faith and Jar of Greed. He tries to cheat me here and set the deco. But I'm like, no, it's not going to happen. You tributed the Thunder Dragon, so good job trying to cheat me, buddy. You're so good. And I draw for turn. I draw into Wing Blast. So now I'm bigger and he has a Jar of Greed set here. So I actually do use his Heavy Storm. This is just to um, make sure my Dust Shoot can actually go off. So I decide to just set Dust Shoot and Wing Blast and Mirror Force and Night Assailant and just pass. So he goes into Standby. And then he goes into Main and I Dust Shoot him. He does not get his Sinister back. Dude is not that great at all. He thinks he is, but okay. Um, I'm going to put back his faith here. Get that shit out of here. He drew in a dust shoot, so he's going to set the spy. And he sets the dust shoot for no reason at all. I draw into BLS. I have no light at this, at this time, but it is okay. So now I decide to big brain him here, and I discard. I use wing blast to put the dust shoot back on top, just so he could dead draw it. So that's the plan. And I use night assailant. And I get my deco back. I decide to flip up my Night Assailant. Pop whatever set he has. Hit him for 200. Set the deco. And just pass. He draws into Dust Shoot. He sets the Dust Shoot and the deco. And passes. I draw into Sinister, which is pretty bad. I flip my deco. I get to draw into Dust Shoot, which is pretty bad. So I really don't have much going on for me at the moment. I just go into battle. Hit his deco. He draws into Jar of Greed. So as you can tell, I mean, he says this game is um, straight luck, but it's funny how I have 2,000 life points, he has 7,800, and I've outplayed the hell out of him and just came all the way back. So he has Jar of Greed and Book now with the Trap Dust Sheet set. So now I'm going to go to battle, hit him for 1,400. I set my Book of Moon and just pass. He draws into a deco. He fires Jar of Greed into upstart. I gain a thousand, he upstarts again. So this is pretty nice. He sets the deco and sets heavy and passes. And now I decide just to use Book of Moon and put my Night of Sailing down because I'm like, it's probably a good card here. I draw into a Dead Chaos Sork, which pretty much sucks. I flip the Night of Sailing and I pop his monster and I hit him for 1600 and I just pass. He draws into Snatch Steel now. So he snatch steals my deco and then he books it and gets the draw. So I'm like, all right, that's cool, whatever. He draws into Chaos Sork, which is pretty live right now at the moment. So he drops, um, he uses Heavy Storm and gets my Mirror Force and my Dust Shoot, which sucks. And this is what's really confusing to me is that he didn't just summon the Sork and try to like attack over the Night Assailant. He wants to make sure he banishes it. Which really, to me, is a real misplay because, let's see, he hasn't used Ring yet, so he could literally just hit for 2100 and hope to God to draw Ring, and he just wins. So instead, he main phase 2, drops Sork, and banishes it. I get extremely lucky here in top deck Snatch Deal. I'm on Gimme Your Shit, and I attack over him. I set Sinister and just pass. He draws into a Faith. He gets a Sinister back. He sets his Faith and passes. I draw on the Thunder Dragon, and now I'm just like, well, if it's Night Assailant or Spy, you get a turn. If not, I'm playing ball because I am fucking going for it. I discard the other shit, and I drop both the boys, and he says one word. Lucky, instead of GG. So, yep. But that is the replay, everybody. Uh, tell me what you thought about that. I did kind of get extremely lucky, I guess, by top decking that Snatch Deer right there. Probably would have been out of here. And the Thunder Dragon was also pretty damn clutch, but he did draw Faith as well. So it's like, talk about my luck, I mean, you drew Faith. Like, what the fuck, that's like the best, well, that or fucking BLS, I guess, I've been better to draw. But Faith is pretty damn good to draw. I mean, you were pretty damn happy when you seen that draw and set it. I thought it was Sinister. So, um, yeah. Um, Y'all hit the like, hit the sub. Hopefully more videos will be up in the future. Um, Maybe I'll do another video, maybe I'll do like a live stream or something. I don't know, but... um. Y'all have a good new year. Peace out.